Dark circles are a common aesthetic problem that affects men and women equally. These dark circles, also known as infraorbital hyperpigmentation, can make a person appear tired, dull, and older than they are. This can affect the facial aesthetics of the person and even impact the way that they are perceived. People with dark circles are more likely to be perceived as tired and incapable of keeping up as they are running at peak fatigue levels. Dark circles are a sizable cosmetic concern as they are hard to completely conceal with makeup and their presence alters facial perception and beauty negatively. So what counts as dark under eye circles? From clinical analysis by Huang et al, there are four main types of dark under eye circles as classified by hue and tone with V for vascular, S for structural, M for mixed, and P for pigmented. For most people, the pigmented and vascular types are the most visible and troublesome. Using this, Huang's paper sets up an assessment score that looks at nine factors, including hue, lesions, puffiness, under eye bags, grooves, and eyelid sag. In this figure, it's apparent to see how the four different classified skin types change with increasing under eye darkness, the right set of images being taken under UV light. It's important for a surgeon or clinician to correctly classify the under eye circle as the treatments are completely different from each other. For instance, pigmented types require bleaching agents or light and heat laser treatments, whereas vascular types require vitamin K or special vascular lasers. Structural types require fillers or upper and lower blepharoplasty, as the name suggests, because the issue is underlying. As the paper notes, most common therapeutics are ineffective because they assume all under eye dark circles are the vascular type and try to solve the solution with topical vitamin supplements. While papers such as Ahmed Raji et al. show an improvement in skin elasticity and darkening using vitamin K and caffeine eye pads, your mileage will most definitely vary as we'll show you in a second. But before that, if you're looking for help identifying and treating dark under eye circles, then I recommend using our free facial assessment tool, which uses machine learning to identify cosmetic flaws and then recommends articles that our doctors have written to learn more on the topic. We get asked this a lot, but no, your images aren't saved anywhere. You should read the FAQ, it's free to use, and we designed the algorithm from the ground up to include an even mix of faces from every color, ethnicity, shape, size, and age for the most comprehensive evaluation. It is still in its early stages and we'll be developing the technology on its own standalone website soon, but a lot of big publications have covered the tool and have given their honest thoughts on the topic. So if you're interested in AI applications in beauty research, then take a look at those articles as well. To understand what type of treatment you should be seeking out for your dark circles, let's first look at the potential causes. Fatigue, stress, and tiredness in general are the main reasons for the development of dark circles. But it's important to note that this is a multifactorial condition meaning that more than one factor can result in the development of these circles. Some of the common causes for dark circles from Rec et al. include genetics, where for some people, the formation of dark circles is associated with their genetic makeup and inherited traits than it is with their personal factors. Some hereditary medical conditions can make the affected person highly vulnerable to dark circles. From Hacker 1996, Inherited dark circles are more common in people of darker skin and Mediterranean ancestry, becoming more apparent during adolescence. The notion that dark circles form just because you're tired isn't entirely correct, and for some races, it's a natural feature. Regardless, it's quite hard to differentiate from actual disorders such as edema or a buildup of fluid in the under eye region. Another reason is sun exposure. Spending too much time in the sun is associated with the stimulation of melanocytes to produce melanin, aka dermal melanocytosis, creating dark lesions in the under eye region. This hyperpigmentation is more likely to occur around the eyes with overexposure to the sun, but they aren't dark circles per se, just a concentrated cluster of freckles. Number three is dehydration. Not drinking enough water can affect the proper functioning of all the organs in the body, but it's more so apparent on the skin. The skin often appears mottled with dehydration, but the effects of dehydration appear exaggerated under the lower eyelid. The eyes can appear sunken in and darker because as the water and fat content decreases, the skin overlying the orbital cavity starts to sink in. Yet another reason is eye strain, and I think this is the one that most people can relate to. 
putting extra pressure on the eyes in the form of increased screen time can result in increased blood supply to the region. This increase in blood supply is facilitated by dilation or enlargement of the blood vessels surrounding the eyes, which is fine and dandy normally, but for those with fragile vessels, they can break and spill blood, which dries up and leaves behind dark hemoglobin pigments. The final reason are allergies, and this came as quite a surprise to all of us, because allergic reactions are modulated by histamine, which is a vasodilator. The dilation of the vessels around the eye can also leak and darken the under eye in a similar way to the previous case. Another way, as Chen and colleagues found, is with deoxygenated darker blood pooling up in the under eye region as the nasal passage becomes blocked, leading to a completely different type of under eye darkening. It's a lot more smooth and consistent without any ripples, so it's not a structural or pigmented type, but rather a vascular dark circle. So all of these mentioned reasons can result in the formation of dark circles, but the exact mechanism and visual characteristics in the development is very individual specific. Some important factors like the anatomy of the skin, deep facial anatomy and soft tissues are believed to play an important role in the formation and determine if the dark circle is going to be temporary or a persistent feature of the face. The under eye skin is one of the thinnest coverings of the body and so subdermal strains are very clearly expressed on the surface. Given that dark circles affect mental health and the physical attractiveness of a person, it's important to treat them appropriately to prevent any long-term issues with self-image and self-worth. Although the treatment of dark circles is mostly determined by the underlying cause, there are general home remedies and topical agents that can help reduce their appearance quite significantly. Some very common home remedies for the treatment of dark circles includes the use of a cold compress and tea bags. Personally speaking, I really like the use of a cold compress, which is basically an ice pack for your under eyes. Both of these remedies follow the same pattern of redirecting the blood and circulating it within the under eye region. A cold compress can shrink the blood vessels, resulting in improved microcirculation of the skin, pushing the dark blood down deeper into the face and away from the surface. Tea bags work in the same way, but it's important to note that these tea bags should be soaked in water and then refrigerated before being used on dark circles. Unlike a simple cold compress, tea bags also provide added caffeine for vascular stimulation. That being said, topical agents are a better way to reduce the appearance of dark circles. There are several topical agents available on the market, but there is no solution that can fix all three types of dark under eye circles, and so proper diagnosis is crucial. A decent topical cream or lotion should contain one of the following ingredients as they can improve skin tone and consistency by enhancing self repair features of the skin. Now, before I tell you what these are, be sure to leave a like on this video to help us create new content and get the video out to more people. So first up, we have caffeine. This improves the microcirculation of the skin and shrinks the blood vessels surrounding the eyes, which results in a brightening of the under eye region. Next is niacinamide, which is another name for vitamin B3. And this specific ingredient works wonders on dark circles by increasing the collagen production and reducing skin inflammation. Plinkington and colleagues found this to be especially good at periocular rejuvenation, which is what we're after, with marked improvements in texture, a reduction in fine lines and hyperpigmentation. However, a technicality is that this research is referring to melanocyte dark circles, which are your typical sunspots, and not your vascular dark circles, which are more of your eye strain and fatigue dark spots. Moving on, we have vitamin C, which has great antioxidative properties that helps eradicate free radicals, which are highly reactive atoms or molecules that can react with your skin structure. And so by taking these away, you're reducing oxidative stress, hence the word antioxidant, but a good sunscreen would stop the free radicals forming in the first place. So wear sunscreen. Next up, we have vitamin K, which not only brightens the under eye region by its effect on blood vessels, but also repairs the skin from the inside, allowing it to heal and look brighter. This is the go-to ingredient for vascular dark circles, and it's most likely that if you're watching this video on your phone in a dark room, full brightness, then vascular dark circles are gonna be the one you might have the most issues with. Two more ingredients on the list. So let's talk about retinols, which is a derivative of vitamin A, and it's an absolute superstar in pharmaceuticals. 
As a result, it carries a more premium cost, but it also encourages removing pigmented skin by promoting skin cell regeneration, which results in a brighter and younger looking under eye region. Given that the under eye region is thin and sensitive, be careful about the concentration and use only products designed for this region as this can be quite harsh. And lucky last, hyaluronic acid, it's another ingredient in dermatology but, but it's not actually very effective as most dermatologists say. It's more of a marketing keyword and in terms of efficacy it's quite limited in this method of delivery at least. But it is a naturally occurring compound found in the skin cell matrix. It's a humectant, meaning that it binds to water at almost a 1 to 1000 ratio. And as Weist and Kirsch have found, it does have some efficacy in maintaining skin elasticity. As for professional medical treatment of dark circles, this includes a professional chemical peel, laser treatments and tissue fillers, all of which try and improve the blood circulation and the deep anatomy of the skin, which over time reduces the appearance of dark circles. Cryolasers have been found to be especially effective, but as most dermatologists suggest, prevention is the best treatment. My favorite piece of mantra, and something that I follow quite closely, is wearing sunscreen before midday and using a retinoid based product at night. Chemical peels are a great way to reduce the hyperpigmentation of the skin, regardless of the cause, but they are more aggressive. Laser treatment of the skin refers to laser surgery, which aims to resurface, tighten, and widen the facial skin. The procedure should be performed by a professional, unless you have a $100,000 laser lying around for whatever reason, to ensure that no unnecessary complications arise. Ever saw that laser scene in Final Destination? The last form of treatment for dark circles is the use of tissue fillers, which helps correct the structural component of dark circles if that's a type that you have. And this may sound unorthodox, but they are very helpful in concealing any visible blood vessels and repairing contour deformity such as hollow eyes, which occur naturally with age. Now, if you'd like to get your dark under eye circles assessed, order a Coos facial report over at the website to get 7,000 words of technical feedback and guidance on how you can look your best.